All right, it's uh, another day back on the horse. I'm liking the way this uh, neck is turning out. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to work on his face, I think, a little bit today. I'm going to reposition the uh, horse's position on the uh, stand here. And bring the uh, face down more level with me. Time to play with some clay. The key to doing a skull of a horse and the head of a horse is to establish where those eyes, the eye sockets are. And I've done that. I have a way of doing that and uh, getting them even on both sides. This, what's hard is when you got two sides completely when you're looking at this edge side, you can't see that side. You have to be able to line up the eyes to be perfectly lined up so that they, when you're looking down at the horse's head, his eye isn't back further than the eye on this side. So what I'm trying to do now is just form the shape of the skull. A person asked me the other day, or just yesterday, on one of my videos, what the wire tool was I was sculpting with uh, towards the end of the uh, video that I was shooting yesterday, and it was this tool here. It's a tool that you can buy from Sculpture Depot, um, .net, and uh, it was a long wood tool, and I cut the end of the wood tool off because it's, it's really useless. I mean, you, you try to sculpt underneath the horse or under in a tight area and you got this 12 inch long handle. I mean, how can you do that? You can't. So I just cut the uh, handle off. Um, these are the ones I would recommend getting. They come in several sizes. The uh, handles are different sizes and some have a place where you can put a wire on each end and uh, these are really handy they're they last forever these won't last forever eventually the wire will break loose inside this holder and then when you try to sculpt it you're constantly battling with the uh, wire uh, trying to uh, move while you're working on it and so these are have a built-in life on them and uh, when you break one of these um, you got to buy a whole new tool and it can cost twenty thirty dollars the wire breaks loose in these you just tighten up the allen screw which is right here and they send you a uh, allen wrench to go with each one of these tools uh, so that you can uh, tighten up the uh, wire in it if it ever comes loose and i've never had one come loose um you just tighten it if the wire breaks and i've never had one break uh, you just buy a new wire and it um, costs maybe a dollar or two so cost wise 
these are much more effective and much uh, better designed. And they were designed by the owner of Sculpture Depot. So it's the only place you can get these. All right. I just wanted to let, let you know about that. And uh guy asked me yesterday, and I figured I'd give you a, a more solid answer in this video. Ball tip tools are really great to have, but boy, I tell you, you really have to have good wire tools, too. putting the horse's eye in and I can hear a horse whinnying way off the dis distance in the barnyard next to my house here that I live in. That was funny. This is another tool that uh, I use, and it's a it's a metal tool that I got. I'll show you some metal tools I got here. This is a metal tool that I got in the, from Sculpture Depot. Um, I liked this end on the uh, tool, but I didn't like how I had to pinch my hand to get it to hold on to the uh, metal tool. And if, after a few hours of using one of these, your hands get uh, cramped and I thought I'd take a wooden dowel just a uh, a wooden dowel that you buy at a hardware store or lumber yard and I drilled a hole to match the uh, diameter of the handle I cut the handle off half and uh, I got another yeah here's another part of one that I've got and all I did was just took one that had a double end, which more, more than likely I never used the other end. I always used this end and I put it into a wooden handle, which makes it a lot easier to hold on to. And I glued it in there and then I put some, uh, uh, fast steel. That's the name of the putty around the uh, thing just to, uh, blend it in a little bit better and keep it in there. I didn't do that on this. I just used Elmer's glue in the uh, hole and it holds it really nicely. Just another tip on tools. Okay, I'm holding the camera and uh, my hand, and so it's not going to be steady. But I got the head, as far as I'm going to get it today, I'll work on the eyes next time. And uh, carry on with the rest of the body after that.
it's uh, not an easy thing to do. It's very uh, stressful <laughs> to work on uh, a horse's head. I can do, I can create a person's face with my eyes closed, but a horse's head is a whole different thing. All right, that's going to be it for tonight, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.